My tattoo says, where we love is home, home that our feet may leave, but never our hearts. Love, mom and dad. And here you see a picture of the continent because it's my country. This is where I was born, this is where I'm from. And this road that you see is a passage to my future because my full name is Josephus Yantentolo. And Yantin means the road to success is far ahead. And that's my first tattoo. Um, it's a memorial tattoo for my cousin. Um, it's a red lily because his name is Billy. And when I was younger, um, I couldn't pronounce his name right. So I was like, oh, lily, lily. So it's a red water lily. And um, he always used to dye his hair bright red, bright orange, just vibrant colors. So it's a red one. The heart symbolizes that, the how many times my heart's been broken. Then the jewel was just the concept of the dagger. While the snake is wrapped around it, it symbolizes anybody that wants to try to get to my heart or harm me. I named my snake Lucky, so it protects me. It's basically my protector on my arm. I inherited two wonderful, amazing sister-in-laws. Um, we decided for my sister-in-law's 30th birthday that we wanted um, to get a sister's tattoo. Um, and I felt very blessed to be welcomed into their family. Um, they are now my best friends. And so um, it was something really special for us to do together. I went and got that because that represents the key. I remember every day when I get dressed and I look in the mirror that I possess the tools to live a clean and sober life. And like I told you, there's that empty spot because um, the tools that I need on a given day change. So to commit to anything, but um, willingness, openness, openness, honesty, truth, love, compassion, any of those things could go in that opening and that's what keeps me clean. a place that we could showcase our students' artwork. We wanted a dedicated space that we could show the community what our students were doing and their amazing talents and all the stuff that they had learned while they were here in Highline. I chose this, actually I didn't choose it, it came up in a discussion I had with Gloria Kipping who works in the psychology department here at Highline and she was interested in the stories and the narrative of why people get tattoos and the psychological kind of meanings behind it, the symbolism, it's very powerful. So that's why we chose this exhibition. It's beautiful, I, I like the meaning behind the tattoos. Uh, the personal sentiment and why they got them. And there was a lot of energy in the air. People were really excited about the henna tattoos and there was a whole crowd and people waiting in line to get their tattoos. And then you could just see people really taking their time and going through the exhibit, looking at the tattoos, looking at the stories, reading the stories. And so you know, they, they spent time and reflected on it, and it was really neat to see. It was really exciting to see all of the students that came and viewed the show and participated in the show, and to see the community involvement with our staff and faculty come and support the show and, and get to see what we're doing up here, and we're just really excited about our next exhibit and what's to come. Uh, so Gary Nelson, who was my predecessor, uh, made it known to me that he really wished we had a student art gallery and he had been wanting that for a long time. They looked at the library, on the third floor, other options, it wasn't viable. We were so lucky that synchronicity happened and we had the funds available. Jonathan Brown and Ben Thomas came to me and Tammy Hilton and said, hey, how could we spend this money and keep it in, in the fine art and the art and design realm and benefit the department? And he said, hey, a gallery would be great. So with their input and um, with Jeff Wagness's input, he actually chose this space in here. And before you know it, now here we are, um, th th my third year here at Highline, and now I'm sitting in this gallery. It's quite magical. Yeah.